Good morning, it's a Steve Spangler Science Morning, and this time we're gonna share an experiment that's gonna give us some insight into Denver's winter pollution, and we all know that as the, that nasty brown cloud that sometimes yeah. is around. C coming up and over, uh, and just look there at Denver, and you see that brown kind of layer sitting there. Mm -hmm. And it's a demonstration that teachers and parents can do. It's really easy to do. We're just gonna use some juice bottles and some different liquids here. It's just water, but they're different colors, and they're different temperatures. Okay. So you'll have to, uh, to let the people know, if it's blue, it's cold. So put your hand on that, you can feel it's nice and Ooh. cold. Yeah, uh, but you need to be colder today. Right? Yeah, I was like colder this than is it nice was and outside. Warm, so here's the warm water right oh, here. I like that one so much let's set up some scenarios. One of the scenarios is the warms on the bottom. So the sun heats the earth, right. uh, and that hot air kind of rises. And so let's do this. If you'll take the cold and fill this up, okay. I'm going to take the warm and fill this up, and then somehow we've got to maneuver that cold over the top. All right. So put the playing card on top of the cold. Feeling good about this? No. Wearing your best clothes? <laughs> yes, of okay, course. Okay, I'm going to help you with this. I'll yeah. turn it upside down, and then you're going to pull the card out of the way, okay? okay? So ready? So card goes upside down like this. Yeah. All right, and so right on top like this. And now you slowly just pull the card away. Go ahead. Slowly? Yep, just kind of pull it away. Nice. Good. And now we get this beautiful color mixing. Right. So you see the, the mixing that's there. The warm goes up just like the air would, and the cold goes down. And so they say this is a, a pretty good reason for um, uh, daylight savings in terms of us driving. You want to drive when it's when there's light out because right. you want the earth kind of warming and you want the gases moving back and forth. Exactly. Be very careful not to sneeze. Uh, we're going to go for yeah. this one, all right? I won't so, touch the table. so here we go. Here's the warm now. It's going to sit on the top. Right. And the cold will sit on the bottom. And this is where we start to get that temperature inversion. Okay. All right, so here we go. So this guy sits on top here like this. Okay, yeah. upside down. All right, stay there, stay there. All right, here we go. And now we pull out of the way. And watch what happens, we get wow, next to no color mixing at all. So you kind of see what the difference is there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that kind of fun? So when we have that inversion, all of that ick kind of stays in the cold air exactly right. with the warm air. So that us. warmer air literally traps it down below. And so no wonder the pollution is bad. You see that layer that's right there in the yep. middle. So what a great way to be able to see that concept of temperature inversion. Uh, teachers also talk about convection that we're seeing here. We want the convection in the atmosphere. We mm -hmm. don't want this temperature inversion no. uh, that you kind of see here. But I think it's just a startling demonstration with the green that sits over I here know. like this. And then uh, as it sits over this way, it's it's kind of a cool way to be able to see it. Yeah. And it's simple little bottles. Great, right? great way to see exactly why some days it just looks kind of nasty over Denver and Absolutely why some days right. it doesn't. Absolutely right.